Now the next part is to get our player to interact with these objects, these apples, and to add in a score counter. To do this, what we need to do is double click on the apple and we're going to create a collision. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an event and we're going to go down to collision and we're going to go to the object player then O player. Now this may seem a little bit counterintuitive because it's the player that collides with the apple. And we are kind of doing this the other way around. The reason for us doing this the other way around is because the code that we're going to be using, and I'll explain it as we put it in. Now, when the player collides with the apple, we want to give the player a score. Now, I'm going to use a variable here. So I'm going to use this assign variable. And we're going to use a built-in variable called score. Now score is what's called a built-in variable to game maker, so we don't need to define it anywhere. There will be a time later on in this tutorial series that we will create our own variables. Every time we hit an apple, I want to increase the score by one. So we need to make sure score is set to one relative. Now, one other thing to notice, if you look at the word score, it's with a lower case. You will need to make sure score has a lower case. Once you've done this, we can then play the game. Now the reason for us playing the game is just to make sure that everything compiles. You're not actually gonna see anything happening. And the reason you're not gonna see anything happening is because we have now put score anywhere. So let's have a look at doing that. Now we are gonna come back to this O apple later because there is a problem with it. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna right click on level one and I'm gonna to go to create and then we're gonna create a new object. We're gonna call this O game manager l1 so what this is is it's a game manager for level one so this is going to be responsible for showing things like how many lives we've got or our score counter now we don't give it a sprite because we don't need to give it a sprite we're going to click on add event we are then going to go down to draw and then we're going to go to draw GY. So this is going to draw a graphical user interface for us. On the side here, we're going to look for our text tool, which is our draw value. And we now need to change this a little bit. So instead of saying caption, and notice it's in quotation marks here, this is important. We're going to change this and we're going to call this one score. Now notice I've used a capital letter. Anything inside these speech marks is like a label. So it's what we want to display. But I want to display the value of score. So I'm using the variable because the variable will change. Every time we hit one of these apples, I want to increment my score by one. Now we can change the position of this score, but I'm gonna leave it to zero to zero for the moment. And then gonna close my O game manager. And we need then to add this into the room. So what I'm gonna do is double click on room one. And then I'm gonna click on this create new instance layer. And then we're gonna right click, go to rename. And I'm gonna call it game manager. Now you'll notice I accidentally put a space in there. These have to be one word, right? Do not make them two words, otherwise it'll bring an error up. 
we're then going to click on game manager and just drag it in here now one thing you'll notice is when you drag it in it puts a question mark here because it's saying you haven't assigned an object to it and that's absolutely fine at the moment if i click on play what you then notice is that we now have a, a thing that says score and a zero next to it. Now, if we then go and grab one of these objects, notice what's happening. My score is increasing massively. The issue we've got is the code is currently saying when the player collides with the apple, so this object, add one to the score. So it's doing exactly that. My player is currently colliding. So it's obviously incrementing my score. We need to go back to the apple. And what we need to do is add one more code block in here. And we need to say, when we collide, when the apple collides with the player, add one to the score and then destroy it now you can probably kind of work out why we've done it this way around if we did this code inside the player and we said if the player collides with the apple destroy it it would actually get rid of our player now there is a way that you can basically tell it to destroy another object but we're not going to do that yet so, as you can see, we've got an apple. When our player and the apple collide, we add one to the score and then we destroy the apple. So let's just see what this does. So as we hit one apple, you can see the score now is incremented to one. And every time we hit one of these apples, you can see it works there, no problem at all. So, so far we've created some collectibles, we've added a score counter, and we've got our little object to move around the maze. In the next part, what we're gonna look at doing is creating some form of enemy, which is gonna then patrol part of the maze.